Good morning, welcome back to the channel and thanks very much for clicking on this video. It's Monday morning, I've got a DA40 dump truck to go and look at today. Um, the fault with it is the, well, I think the park brake system flew to bits um, and the uh, sort of want us to come and help rebuild it. So there's bearings and brakes and stuff to put back together. So I would imagine it'll be the best part of the day spent in here. Um, it's quite an old, it's an older machine. It's done about 14,000 hours. Um, so yeah, I'll go and get signed in and inducted and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you in five minutes. Hello. <laughs> that was easy enough. It's not so bad when you've been to a bit once before and you're all inducted and ready to go. Um, what I would like to say is, uh, well, to begin with, I enjoyed my long weekend, but I, I spent part of my evening reading through all the comments and uh, brilliant like, I mean, we've got uh, window cleaners to mechanics working out in Canada to folk operating machines out in New Zealand, Australia. I can't believe that my videos get watched even outside of the UK, never mind Europe and then the rest of the world. So thanks very much for tuning in and watching these videos. Um, really do appreciate it and i did try and message everybody back or comment back to everybody that commented on those videos it's fantastic the most recent video um that went live on sunday um basically i've been driving down to liverpool yesterday um to go and see uh, ollie blogs uh festive tractor run and um, so i haven't got round to looking at those comments yet but i will okay let's Oh, it's going to be a cold one today. It's a bit overcast. We'll be able to get the uh, new boiler suit on. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll grab bits and pieces of this job. I know that the mechanic that I'm working with, I don't think he wants to be on YouTube, but uh, I'll show you bits and pieces as we go. All right. Right, you might need your sunglasses on when you're watching me today, because uh, you can see the new boiler suit is very bright. Um, so first of all, we've got a drive shaft that we need to build up. Um, so I'm gonna do that in the workshop and then take the shaft up to the truck, which is further up the uh, quarry. So uh, that's first on the agenda. This is the drive shaft. So at one end, we've got the, I don't know, I'll chuck my glove on there, then you're not looking at it. Uh, down at this end here, we've got the drive shaft coming from the transmission onto this side. We've got a carrier bear in here got a carry bear in here and then we've got the park brake that goes onto here so the park brake is a big disc which is a new one in there um, and what was happening was the park brake was wobbling like that which burnt out the previous pads on the park brake and it also heated up the oil and there was a big mess apparently um, and we came to it last week we were gonna reset the because the disc has had a bit of heat in it so it was warped slightly we were going to put a new disc on it um, and the bearings weren't in the best of shape either so we we're going to put new bearings on it and um, but when we came to strip it down found that this yoke here you can see it's on a spline the splines were all worn out and um, so they were all um, rather than being a flat top they had like a peak in them which allowed this yoke to sort of wobble about as well. So there was not only a lot of play in the bearings, but there was also play in the drive shaft yoke as well. Um, so uh, they've had this remanufactured. Basically this has been cut and then a new piece put in and re-welded up. Thankfully I didn't do any welding, so it should be okay. And then this now is nice and tight on the shaft and it's been uh, remanufactured at both ends. So should have a nice tight shaft there's a massive nut that goes onto there 70 70 mil or 72 mil can't just remember and um, but that needs to be tightened to ft if you don't know what ft is go and look in the um in the in the shop manual ft is ft like so we're going to build all this up and then put it in the back of the van and then head up and fit it to the dump truck hopefully so this is what we're building up uh, because we didn't strip it down um we're using the parts I'll need to build the back up. So we've got, uh, we're gonna put it, this sleeve here goes on first. 
and this spacer, and then this spacer, and this that locks it all together. Go into this, and then we'll probably put the carrier bearings together um, when we get it back up the top, I think. Um, just looking at that, we probably won't put that on because we'll need to put the bearing onto there. I think I'll maybe pull up the workshop manual as well, just rather than relying on the parts manual. Mm -hmm. So we've hit a bit of a pothole. Um, we're almost built up, um, but the issue is this collar here is to slide over this piece here. As you can see in the picture there, that's how it looks built up. Um, we need to put this rubber seal, well, this goes on, and this rubber seal oh, sits inside there. Obviously when it's uh, on that shaft, it'll sit a bit wider. That rubber seal needs to sit inside here, but this collar doesn't let us, basically. The outside diameter of this is 102, the inside diameter of this is 100, so I mean, no amount of brain with a hammer is going to make that fit. Uh, so we're going to have to get these yokes, both are the same as well, we have to get these yokes turned down on the lathe, um, which we'll go and get done now by the sound of it. Um, but it'll be an hour down to the bit where this shaft was all done. I think these yokes are all done as well. So, yeah, a bit of a pothole like, but we'll we'll overcome it because these aren't these 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 came with the shaft, so to speak, rather than from Doosan so or Devlon. There we go. Never mind. There we go. I've got the uh, drive shaft yokes re-engineered. Got like two mil shaved off them. I tell you what. Going into that spot there, if there was ever an old fashioned engineering spot, that is it like, and the smell is amazing. Like it just smells like engineering. It's a weird smell. It's dead nice. <laughs> right, we're gonna uh, head back up to the quarry now. Um, took about an hour to get down here. We've been sat for 45 minutes while they did that. Bless them, they were just about to start the lunch as well and they've, uh, done it all up for us so much appreciated so it's quarter to one now um, it'll be quarter to two when we get up there so and now we're putting that shaft back together quarter to three might have it done by the end of the day but it's one of these spots where you can't work late so yeah we'll get as much done as we can Right, we're winning now, we've got one end built up. That end's not built up, as you can see. Um, so what we're doing now, we've filled it, well, we've filled this void in here with grease. Um, there's also a couple of lock rings that go in there to stop the shaft sliding backwards and forwards. That's just on this end. Um, and what we're doing now is we're trying to fill this, rest this cavity up with grease. We'll leave this bleed uh, screw out of here, and that'll just fill that right away up with grease. Right, I'm starting to build up this end now, so we've got this first collar on. Lovely how everything's machined just so nicely. It's just like a gentle tap and it just sort of glides on. Um, got this seal on now and then this seal here. Concave out the way. So concave, you see it's dished slightly. Need to go like that. That looks like it's going to not keep anything in but when it's in the bearing carrier this is shoved against it like that so that's how it seals and um, next is the bearing and a spacer and a sleeve right bearings on little uh, spacer here and this piece should just you know it's such a nice neat fit a little bit of oil on there first, I think. Quite your stuff, this look. It's like waste oil in a can. Amber seal chain spray. It's 
worked wonders so far. Right, right down there. A little chop for the hammer. Copper hammer, hide hammer. Anyway, you get the gist. <laughs> I need two hands. There you go, you see it's just such a machined fit. Yeah, I can spin it, just needs to get on there square, which you can't do by hand. Right, next is to build this up, which has already partly been done. Uh, there in housing. Oh, right, they're just blanks for there, look, stuff any more getting in them. That's a good idea. Huh. Um, right, I need this on here. Right, dish, you can say dish out the way, dish out the way, that goes on there. And then this here goes onto here and this seal then sits in the recess of this sleeve, which we then, once we've got it all put together, we put that sleeve up. So that sleeve is pushing this seal, which then pushes against this ring here. Easy. Final bit of information about this, we've got an arrow on here. We've got an arrow on there, they need to be pointing at each other and that should be on the identical spline to the one up that far end, which looks like it roughly is. <laughs> Don't want it to be rough though. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, in the book, you've got these markings there and there, and that's how you would line your, your new yoke would come with an arrow just like that. Um, you'd line it up with the cross in the shaft, I think. Anyway, that's it true apparently. We'll only find out when we come to put the shafts on when we're up the quarry. Right, so we've uh, got it all built up pretty much. Um, we've filled all these voids up with grease. What we'll do now is put the cap on. That cap there goes on. Put the grease nipple in it and again just uh, top it up with grease. Yeah, the right quality job look. Here it is then, DA40, it's a brute-like, for scale, hmm, that there is about in line with my forehead, big chunky tyres. Anyway, this is what we're in at, you see that's the bearing carrier there, and the one at the front, so it's the intermediate shaft between there and here that we're replacing. And that there goes on to where the um, doodad is. Park brake disc, I'll show you. So there's the old park brake assembly. Um, you can see it flew a bit, literally. And this here is the new unit. Um, and yeah, this is the old, the old pad, uh, the old disc and there's a bit of discoloration about it, not just obviously rust because it's been chucked in here, but uh, yeah, there's that. And then we'll have to set up the part brake for it. But yeah, we're just waiting on a forklift coming up and we'll slip that shaft in. Right, we've got the shaft in. I can tell you now that is heavy, very heavy. It's turning nice and freely. Happy with that. Um, so next we're going to attach it to the transmission drive shaft, which is down in there. Which looks easier said than done. Uh, that grease sniffle will come out and on there, that's the fitting for the auto greaser. So, yeah, put them together and then we should, I'm pretty sure we can turn this shaft to match it to this back shaft here that goes to the bogies at the back. Um, I'm pretty sure we can turn the transmission over. In fact, we can, because I did it um, when we were stripping it out. Here you can see the reflection of my orange uh, <laughs> jumpsuit. <laughs> right, job's going well. That's the park brake. Just about on, we've got four bolts to go in there. We're attached down at that end, that's the difficult end. So we're flying it now. Right, we're coming together. Back shaft done, calipers going on, we're just getting some new pads for it. And then we'll get this adjusted up. Yeah, 
that's laid nice and easy. Yeah, it's playing together. So we've got it all built back up. We're just waiting to get the keys sent up. Lovely job. All done, grease pipes on. Doing the checks now, grease pipe on. Pipe on there. That should be adjusted correctly. Bit of movement. Yeah, we'll fire it up and see what happens when we get the keys. Terrific. Right, that's that beast finished. 14,578 hours on her. <whistles> yeah, all done. Yeah, look at the size of it compared to my van, and my van's closer to us than it is. Yeah, stood next to them tyres there. My head will just be about there. Awesome bit of kit. Um, next size up from that is a DA45, um, and that's got twin wheels on the back, but they're next to each other, so you take that wheel off and put it there. And then it's got a bigger skip, you know? It's a fair weapon. Right. Um, We'll round the video up at that because I'll have to go and sign out and sign all the paperwork to say that, turn that light off. Sign all the paperwork to say that, that machine is good to go. Um, and I'll drive home which will be what was it about an hour and 25 minutes or so to get here. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. Um, it would have been nice to have had a couple of time lapses on the go as well, but hey I tell you what, the video that I did when I was asking you where you're from and what you do for a living we got a copyright strike on that and the only thing I can think of is the music that I used at the start of the video there that little 13 second time lapse um, which is strange I have appealed it like because I've used that music before and it's never been a problem but you win some you lose some right thanks for watching if you've enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't already I'd appreciate it if you uh, click the subscribe button too because um, that helps my channel move forward. Right, we'll see you in the next one.